Thor News presents Blood Red Texas Sunday Sky. Blood Red Sunset. Sunday, bloody Sunday. Or so it seemed. It was as if the air was filled with red. And it was. The whole sky was red. People say, screenshot or didn't happen. Well, I screenshotted that shit. I don't know why the sky was red. I don't know why the sun looked so strange. I have suspicions. But there are so many stories out there. Who knows? All right, y'all. I'm not trying to sensationalize anything. Earlier today when I was going on my Sunday drive, I looked up at the sun where it was like a red orange ball where it wasn't glowing. I mean, shining like it normally does. It was almost like it was a lava lamp for lack of a better term. And so I got out of my car to take a picture. I mean, you can just see the red pouring straight out of the sun. You can see it like the entire sky was lit up red. Honestly, I, I don't know what's going on. I mean, volcanoes are up. Earthquakes are up. Our economic path is printing at warp speed. All I know is that everybody needs to enjoy every single second of their life. They need to treat everyone else around them as good as they can. And that make your soul, heart, and energy as strong as possible. Though the body may die, the spirit will live on forever. God bless everybody. These are crazy times. And I pray Patty Broussard is not right. The sun just looks so creepy. It's like we're seeing the signs increase in heaven. We're seeing the signs increase on earth. Whether you believe in God or not, it should be pretty clear to everybody that whatever is happening is getting faster. The quickening is quickening. And I say that humanity has a chance and a choice. But I'll be honest, I don't know what can turn the tide of such anger, hatred, and greed, and fear on this planet. It seems like it's been baked in the cake for a long time. The only thing I can even think of is divine intervention, and all I can do for that is pray. Man, these sure are crazy times. It's like the worst time ever to not have a girlfriend. If we really are plunging headlong into the apocalypse, that has to be the absolute worst time. To not have somebody to love. I mean, I love my mama. I love my family. And I love my friends. But I sure wish I had someone to cuddle. Alas. Other than that, I'm still the luckiest man on the planet. And I hope you feel the same way too. Things are getting creepier. Exponentially. So just stay alert. Stay aware. Try and stay awesome. Don't let the bastards get you down.